Uh, most people, I think. But I mean, those opposed to brown sugar and recipes that call for such. And uh, yeah, that's about it. But we're not one of those people. So hey, I'm excited for this matchup today. And we got a, a great the classic right strike here. battlefield. Yeah. And immediately we see the Peach Bullet turn up. That's going to be her main neutral tool. It is pretty much her only way to have the same range as Samus with the missiles and uh, charge shot. She has to use her projectile. Of course. In battle of projectiles, I think we know who means here. Uh, Fox, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Literally anything, it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, say whatever you want. <laughs> the Peach platform camping, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Yeah, right. There's a, a lot of missiles, not a lot of connection, but to be expected with some fast moving features. The up air is a very nice kill move for Peach. Samus can't really come down quickly, so. Absolutely. Uh, any sort of big damage is just going to get punished by pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. so, it comes out Down slash on shield, that is not safe versus a very long range grab character. If Samus locks for him down here, she makes up with the air. Because that is a very powerful game. Happens, always lets the charge shot rip pretty early. Oh, with the taunt. Damn, that's fucked up. Right? <laughs> the young rivalry happening. That is a strong nair. Yeah, so we are stock for strong. I'm glad to see that. Uh, that this is such a close matchup. This is so exciting. We got <laughs> <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> the monotones are coming out, boys. We've got a minute and a half into the game, and they're both at three stocks low percent. So. Time out. Buckle up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see this charge on this. Five, four, three, two. Noggin with the worst charge shot countdown I've ever seen. <laughs> Just a few seconds. Alright, so he is 0 for 2 currently. Let's keep score. 0 for 2 on charge shots. Oh, yeah, F -tuck. I almost forgot. Another uh, on stage tweak for some of these teams. Because, uh, you know, you're going to get outreach for a lot of things with Samus because everything takes a while to hit. Because, you know, you're basically a character that's not a space, but it's in space. It's for sure. You move like a fight in space. Very unfortunate SD by Peachy Keen. He got battlefielded battle pretty hard there. Yep. But brings happens ahead a little bit. This is winner's final. Is this best of five? Do either of you know? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna be here a while. I think he th shot a third charge shot, did he? I was trying to look at chat, it's very far away. But, uh, hi chat. There's Katsu in chat, what's up Katsu? Yeah, the turnip edge guards are pretty hard for Samus. You can either hit Samus herself and then she gets knocked away, which is obviously good, but you can also hit the bombs and then she just doesn't gain height and can't get back to stage very easily. Yeah, the optimal strategy too, with hitting, hitting the little tiny ball Samus is a, it's almost a carnival game in itself. But yes, hitting that bomb is a very good strategy. Nice. So this is indeed a best of five set. <laughs> <laughs> Open up your second tabs, everybody at home. We got some time. It happens, you know. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh, fuck. They're all laughing in the kitchen. Oh, really? Yeah. Peach Keen employing the uh, edge guard strategy we're talking about. That's 0 for 3 right there. 0 for 3 on charge shots. Alright. I missed a sick, uh, I missed a That's 0 for 4. This is really hard for Samus to keep Samus standing. Well, not in this situation. As she can do. 0 for 5. 0 for 5. 0 for 5 on charge shots. Yeah. Over six. That was a very good umbrella yeah, on reaction, which is smart if you know what the Samus is gonna do. Yeah. Why not react? Oh, there's the mayor. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Katsu, for keeping track in the chat. <laughs> Sam is unable to get off ledge. I actually, that happens to me a lot as Marth. It is pretty difficult to get off of, uh, get off of ledge whenever you're holding onto it as a slower character, versus Peach just pulling turn up the right spacing where it just barely goes over ledge. Just taps in the hand. Yeah, especially with Sam, which is a character that can't really get off of ledge in too invincibly. Her and Marth both struggle in that way. Fox and Falco obviously can just wave dash through the turnip and then just get on stage, but it's difficult for slower characters. Yeah. Classic spaces. Unless you got some slippery wave dash and got a hard time. Ooh, oh, damn. Very nice roll on. Well timed. Good edge, er, uh, good recovery attempt, though. I'm sad, boy, because I'm literally not going to be able to come to this again. Damn, Katsu, you got to come out here. You got to show up. We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> we did not have a neutral start on here, so the Peach immediately putting on pressure on the Samus on the platform. This is definitely a good counter pick for Samus. I'm not sure if it's the best. The platforms allow Samus to do the uh, missile uh, like on the platform and then drop through the missile again when you land very efficiently. So it's pretty hard to approach his Peach and Sir. Oh, we have a stitch face. Oh no, yeah, that's just... Holding shield is definitely not the right call there. Trying to uh, spot dodge so it goes through you is fine, but if you miss that, then that's pretty much game. Let Peach throw that in the trash yourself or else you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, definitely holding shield is not the strategy you want to be employing here. We'll give it to Happens. He's got a stock still. Oh, Ooh. Nice. And still has the stitch face. It might disappear mid throw. We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, it's yeah. gone. So here's the missile thing I was talking about earlier. Yeah. It's a very good space controller. Absolutely. And uh, from what happens, he's been using his missiles in the past. And he's definitely going to be doing that strategy about this one as well. Very, uh, very good. You know what the best thing about Nair is for Samus? What is it? it combos into charging charge shot. You know, you Nair them, you get a little charge shot. There, yeah, there, look at that. It's you got a Nair charge shot a little bit. Oh, so we are one for seven, boys. <laughs> uh, I don't know why Peach would stand up there at all. That seems like a very large yeah. mistake. <laughs> <laughs> One for seven, and it looks like the score of a World Cup game versus a third world country. <laughs> Way to go, Happens. <laughs> he did it. Huh? Happens did 9 11 confirmed, I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all four of our fans are calling the cops. <laughs> Charge shot auto com also combos into charging charge shot. That's true. If you charge shot at low percent, you can immediately charge charge shot. That's a true combo. It's actually the best combo you have. <laughs> it's the best follow up. Ooh, we had the Mr. Saturn, but he disappeared. Who's the homie? BBZ! BBZ, baby. Oh my god, I love to see it. Who can get back to stage fast? This should be a kill. Yeah. Peach is forward there. Too good at high percents. Let's find a good turn, shot. Uh, looks like so here's the missiles. Peach has to approach here. It's too difficult to dodge them for too long and float doesn't last forever. There's that charge shot charge. Very difficult difficult to deal with this many missiles. They cover so much space. Ooh. Yeah, one for eight, but it's definitely a very good try. One for nine. How do you guys know I'm playing DBZ? <laughs> <laughs> it was the combo. The combo knows all. This is a dangerous spot because if Samus doesn't approach, then Peach has a very good chance of pulling a turnip. Or sorry, a sti uh, stitch face in this minute. The turnip sucks ass to <laughs> oh damn! That was sick. That was a very smart up tilt by Happens. Absolutely. Poke through the platform. I would not have expected that to actually work. A lot of good opportunities made by Happens. He's got his charge shot off this game and also. Excellent. Uh, was that so, yeah, that was an up tilt. Gosh. Our man is scrappy. Very preemptive up B there, expecting the beach to approach. Ooh, yeah. Tether on Pokemon is a little difficult. A little tricky. Yeah, up tilting twice in place, not the best neutral strategy. Ooh. Nice pressure. Down throw in there. 
Uh, if he got a nair there, then Peachy's right. without a jump and without a float. It was like a stop, but, uh, Peachy King holds on to it. Very good nair by Peachy King. Has a lot of priority. Yeah. Samus is out the air. Or sorry, down air, not air. <laughs> Yo, why is no one playing Yoshi? Well, because Yoshi is an unviable character. That's Next question. <laughs> no. Yoshi is definitely a very difficult character. Yeah. So why? I guess it's more personal preference. Uh, I need a place to put this gun. This is just on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Another DBZ. Yoshi is true main, honestly. Yoshi is soul main, <laughs> but you don't bust him out in turn. You lose if you bust him out in turn. Absolutely, but you can win with the Luigi, right? Uh, Barely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice nair to clean up the game for Peachy King. Definitely a rough situation for Happens. In yes, floaty, yeah. um, floaty matchups, it's very hard to reverse 3 0. They're not as volatile as the classic matchups. Yeah, try it out for Dreamland this time. I like the stage change. It seemed like uh, uh, after Peachy King had approached whenever Happens had done his missile. Um, uh, like platform stuff, he had a hard time actually getting exchanges, or ra rather winning exchanges, so I like the Dreamland pick. It gives him more space, you can try out some more stuff, gives him more time. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely a better recovery as well. It's time that he utilized that game to man. A little rough here with this old tube, but I would not count on it. Ooh, 1 in 10. Wow, that was a very well spaced fair. You can't wave dash back forever. Ichikin knows that he just floats towards happens and then eventually fares after three or four wave dash backs. We are one in eleven. Have we hit two? I think we only hit the one. I could be wrong. Anybody in chat know? One and a half and eleven. This cat is staring into our soul. It's so cute. I don't want to talk about it. I should talk about this pattern. Oh, there's two and twelve. Posa? <laughs> Alright, Nedge Guard from Samus. Now let's talk about this cat. She has great eyes, very kawaii. Feisty, feisty. Beautiful orange A wonderful, well kept mane. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Ooh, yeah, you cannot just fare uh, at that close of spacing. You can just get crouch cancelled. That low percentage, absolutely. Yeah, fair and shield by Peachy Keen is definitely a little preemptive. You can update that out of shield every time. Of course, that doesn't do too much, but it definitely resets it to neutral rather than putting you in the pressure situation you were in before. But technically, I suppose that Happens does have the advantage right now in terms of stocks. For sure. It's pressure is number His pressure is out here, though. According to chat, it's 2 and 11 currently. Maybe you should teach in English and then ask if you would play Yoshi. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah, good. No, it's not, not close enough. Oh, thank you. We have a mic adjustment, so now you can hear me talk in my amazing voice. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is, uh, Smash House ASMR. <laughs> now you're just gonna listen to me chew gum. <laughs> See if I laugh, I'm just gonna be super hard in this but okay. <laughs> Just laugh to the left. Yeah, I'll laugh, I'll laugh. <laughs> <laughs> laugh away from the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I should ask for some paper to put this gum in. Rip. That's okay. Alright, two stocks each. We have a very close game. Actually, yeah. The dot eyes out, now it's not. Dot eyes is gone. Oh, Peachy King has done a good job. Up. Even yeah, this game up. Yeah. Ooh, fairing the, uh, the missile drop down, that's smart. Any matchup, like, like this is the matchup that utilizes uh, crouch canceling, I think, like, just so much. Both of these characters can, 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 can convert, rather, to their uh, down smash. 
It's definitely very uh, risky for Samus to do some crouch cancel, but you can get a lot off of crouch cancel when he teaches aerials. Right. Obviously, true. there's the uh, down smash punish, but if you get like you know a crouch cancel into your own kind of down smash, yeah. that, ch that uh, combos into charging charge shot. I'm sure we all know how important that is this matchup. <laughs> Thank you for your, uh, <laughs> your input on that one. <laughs> It was insane that that forward smash hit at all. Yeah. Yeah, Dare has way too much priority. You can't be uh, hopping below Peach up into her like that with Nair. No way. You could do anything in the air with Samus. Yeah, but you gotta hit her. Oh, I think you just threw away a Stitch Face. Oh, wow. Almost positive. <laughs> you just runs right in with a Nair. What happens looks uh, pretty close to a victory here, but who knows what can happen with Peach you can. All it takes is a couple of the down smashes and a bit of luck. But, uh, oh, that's, that's the game. All right, so we are now 2-1. Happens having a nice game win on Dreamland, which may or may not have been Peachy King's favorite stages, too. It's generally a good stage for Peach, so he, that might have been his preferred stage. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Looks like Final Destination is his counterpick, comma, however. Just runs right in and down smash into up there. That's very good by Peachy King. Recognizing that Happens is going to do nothing but either missile or charge charge shot, so you just can take stage and, and uh, center. Who does this like? Who does this map favor? I guess is my question. That's a great question. Um, Samus can do, can control space with missiles, but you can't do the platform thing where you uh, get out, get missiles out quickly. So it's right. pretty difficult for her to utilize missile. So I'd say that Peach definitely has an advantage here because she it just is. takes half a second for her to pull a turn up. Yeah, she can pull turnips, float about, do anything. Yeah, I guess so. Good point. And oftentimes. The threat of throwing a turnip is greater than actually throwing a turnip. Hey, do you, can you get me some like paper to put this gum in? <laughs> He's been holding that in his fingers for the past like 50. Yeah, can you get me some like paper? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I love in melee? Neutral. So this is my favorite matchup, actually, World Peace. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. Ooh, gets a charge shot. Let's see if it is. <laughs> Let's go timeouts. Yes, Ooh. it does. Wow. That is three for twelve. Three for twelve for happens charge shots. Let's go happen. Let's go happens. It's also pretty difficult for Samus to stop Peach from approaching if she floats at the right height, because you can't really full hop missile because it's way too middle. It takes a lot of time to go up and then all the way down. Yeah. Which you saw Pichikin just uh, floating over and down airing right there at the spacing that I'm talking about. This is game four. <laughs> Was that three up out of shields in a row straight back to ledge? I saw at least two. I'm not, I'm not sure about the third one. Oh, that, uh, that's another reason why this stage is better for Peach, is because up you had a shield, can, uh, can't can land on a platform, so oh, it can be punished yeah. a lot easier. He just hit as a nice little fall. Yeah. A little snowflake in the air for Peach to pick up and... Melt. <laughs> melt <laughs> to a very degree. There's the uh, Misty Eye in the forward throw, so it happens out a little earlier than he should have, but it's not too big of a deal. Peach right. still at a pretty high percent here. Absolutely. He keeps his pressure up with his missiles. That was 10%, damn. Yeah, right. But as you can see, he was he still got punished with the fair because there's no platform to land on. Yeah, yeah. Your point in play, absolutely. Jeez. Yeah, so quite much. a few tournament winners from Happens. Samus is just so slow. Peach has so much good aerial control here. Mm -hmm. Just pop up and come down with a sweep. That was a down. smart nair. Yeah, it was a very smart nair. Caught her right off guard. Ooh, that is a uh, three for thirteen. Yeah, Peachy King has got those up B dodges down pat. For sure. Oh shit. The uh, the turnip wobble coming out for Peachy King. Right. Let me take. It's twenty eighteen. What are we? Uh, what are we expecting? Now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, close. Smart kick back into ledge. Yeah, a few too many tournament winners from Happens. He needs to uh, take a breather. He's recovering right now. Just you know, breathe in and out a couple times and uh, get his fares off of ledge. Right. Yeah, that's a risky fare there. It's pretty hard for Samus to get off of ledge because Peach is crouch canceling there and can yeah. down smash most of Samus' options. Absolutely. Your timing on the uh, drop off of ledge has to be perfect there. Unless you're getting your little fingies crushed. For sure. And that's 4 for 14 now, charge shots. 4 for 14. 
Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's his uh, best option, is up he had a shield on and drift back on the left. Yes. That's very smart by it happens. He has no platforms, all he has is the ledge to do the same thing over and over. Rinse and repeat, it seems, but, uh... Peachy Keen with a 69%. Oh, oh more <laughs> sure that didn't happen. Happens GR stops the superpower. The... Right? And, uh, this might be a stock, okay. He has grapple, of course. Nice. Is 8% a lead? 8% is not a lead in this matchup. I don't think so. That is like barely one up the out of shield. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in this match, and it has been packed with some floating action. I like that that happens a lot, just crouch canceling the aerial and then immediately taking center. He didn't hold it very well, he just ran away to the other side of the corner. Yeah. I would have preferred him to actually stay in center and then uh, use his space. Has, I guess he has reason to be careful. A little skittish though, yeah, you're right. Might have taken advantage that, that he had it. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's going to be on ledge here. And Oh, okay. The get up attack. Yeah, I did not expect that. I was expecting some more ledge play that he's been doing. Very smart uh, missile into the air. Controlled a lot of space. Peachy King didn't really have an option with where he was uh, standing. Yeah. Floating, rather. Very risky up the right. shields. Barely set off that ledge. Ooh, the power shield. Wow, that's huge. Oh my gosh. This is definitely coming down to the wire. One grab, Samus should be dead with forward throw. One missile connection and a little bit of uh, work. Running in with Nair. Ooh, or, wow. sorry, uh, that dash attack. That's a sick Nair. And ooh, good dodge. Good, good getting out of the way. Right? One down smash, one grab. Peach just needs one fair, so one strong Nair. Everybody at home is, I'm sure, sweating like I am right now. <laughs> uh, that's just because you're hot, Noah. That's true, actually. Ooh, oh, the spacing on that catch. Nair. You see happens with the Sire Relief there. Very overcommittal there that happens. Pretty skittish. Oh, no. Not the FBI shield. Yeah. That, yeah, that should be the game. No side plays. Yeah. Definitely good to see happens. Make some, uh, make some adjustment adjustments. He was uh, beaten pretty hard the first two games. Yeah. And then he was able to take it back. Almost that win game three. Or sorry, win game three and then almost win game four. His tenacity is very much worth mentioning. That was 